Welcome everybody to a new series here in No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming and I've been looking forward to uh, getting back to this game. The last time I played it was in 2019. Can you believe that was four years ago already? I can't hardly believe it. Uh, at the time that I played it, uh, I played it in VR mode and did some YouTube videos on it, but uh, VR doesn't work very well on YouTube just because it's too shaky. It gives people motion sickness, that sort of thing. Uh, but this is my save back from then. I did log into it for a little bit and look around, so that's why it's got um, 2023 date. But this is actually a 2019 save. Um, so we're going to start a new game here. Uh, we are going to play it in survival mode because I just like the extra challenge of that. Uh, but the goal here is just to have, you know, have fun, enjoy the game, uh, kind of relax with it because this is a really good game to just kind of chill uh, and not necessarily be in a hurry or anything like that. Uh, I'm not, I, I know there are lots of different things you can do in this game to kind of min max and earn money really fast. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to do a whole lot of that. I just want to relax and enjoy the game and, you know, take time to stop and smell the roses. So that is, um, you know, what's going to happen here. We will, uh, I mean, the ultimate goal is to work towards the center of the galaxy. It's my plan to do that at this point. Uh, but, you know, we're, there's no sense of urgency to do that. Uh, we're just going to, like I said, relax, relax, have fun, and enjoy this very awesome game. Uh, I am playing on the 4.0 update, and I don't really know uh, what, you know, what changes they've added uh, to the game over the last four years. I know that there have been lots of changes to it, uh, but uh, we'll see what those are as we go along and just enjoy the game. So I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I know I'm going to do so. So where everybody... I present to you No Man's Sky. Commencing at assistance suit initialization. Life support systems activated. Shield kinetic system online. All right, we are on a radiation planet. Um, so we're going to jump right in and get started. Uh, so the very first thing we want to do is collect ferrite, which is basically like iron. And because uh, we have to fix our scanner. Uh, so we're going to do that first. It's telling us that on the right hand side. And we also want to get dihydrogen right away. And we're going to want to get carbon right away. So we're going to do that. We need to we need to prioritize the ferrite though, because we need to get the scanner fixed, so that we can then um, uh, it'll it'll show us where uh, uh, not sulfur sodium uh, where sodium because we're we're going to need that to recharge our hazard shield. Uh, we can also pick this what I like to call space wheat here, and that will also uh, recharge our hazard shield. So uh, right now we're at 22 percent on the hazard protection. If we just consume this, uh, we can actually recharge it with the space wheat, which is pretty cool. This is something we can pick and grow later on when we actually have a permanent base. Okay, so that buys us a little bit of time. Um, we still want to prioritize getting the ferrite, though, so we can get the scanner fixed. Uh, so let's keep working on this, and we do want carbon, too, and I'll show you why here in just a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to assume that some people watching this are not familiar with this game, so I'll kind of talk about certain things as we go along and why we're doing them the way we are. Right now my laser is really hot, um, and so you don't want to you don't want to overheat it because then it shuts down for a little bit, but the hotter your laser is when you're mining resources, the more resources, or the quicker I guess I should say, it'll mine it. So um, you get to a point where you kind of can manage the heat of the laser, keep it hot, but not so hot that it's going to overheat. You can see the little heat warning bar uh, that pops up there. Okay, let's stop here for a minute and see if we have enough ferrite dust to fix our scanner. We do. We needed 75. We're good to go. Uh, now what we can do is we can press C. I'm on PC, by the way, and we can uh, start scanning things. Okay, let's grab some more dihydrogen here. And we just ran out of fuel in our laser, so... Um, what we can do is press X for the quick menu, go to recharge, and we recharge it with carbon. 
Okay, so let's grab all this dihydrogen. You can see um, over here that we have uh, sodium, uh, which we want because that's what we use to uh, recharge our our hazard. And there's a whole bunch of dihydrogen. I'm going to grab this real quick too because can't pass it up. We need this for several different things. Again, keeping our laser hot, but not too hot. And we can just really blow through stuff. Okay, this thing here is a broken piece of machinery, and sometimes we can find modules or nanites. Uh, I like to hang on to the goop too, because that's worth money or can be converted to nanites later as long as we have enough inventory space for it. And we got some nanites. Okay, nanites are good because they're like a um, uh, they're like a currency here in the game. Um, all right, now what we need to do next is um, we're going to actually go into our multi tool, or not sorry, not the multi tool, the exosuit, and we're going to make some carbon nanotubes. But we need a little bit more carbon to do that. And we're going to make a a scanner, uh, or a visor, I should say. We have two kinds of scanners. We have the scanner itself, and then we have a visor, uh, which also lets us scan and will give us a compass. We can't mine this yet. We need an advanced mining laser, which we will obtain later on. Okay, so let's grab some more carbon here. Carbon is basically going to be from plant life and that sort of thing, whereas ferret's going to be more from minerals. All right, um, so let's go here. Uh, we're going to make carbon nanotubes, and then we can go to our multi-tool, and we can craft a, an analysis bike. All right, so now we have a compass at the top of our screen, and we can scan things. When we scan things, we learn more about it, which means we can harvest often harvest more resources, and we get a little bit of money when we scan stuff, too, because we're sending this information back up to a space station somewhere, I guess, uh, for uh, data. All right, now off in the distance, we can now see where our ship is located um, because the, the advisor, you know, gave us the compass and now it's telling us the ship is over here. we got to make our way to the ship. As far as the story goes, uh, what's happened is we've crash landed uh, on this planet, but we lost our memory. Our character doesn't know why we're here. We'll find that out in a little while. And the first part of this game is just kind of trying to figure out who we are and why we're here and that sort of thing. Okay, let's go over here. We got a couple things that we can loot. Okay, that gives us a, a health boost. Um, this gives us rusted metal. It is useful, but I, I don't usually pick that up because it just clutters the inventory. You can uh, refine it later on in the... Uh... Oh, wow. Look at this place already. Uh, you can refine it later on. And get ferrite dust for it, but I, I don't know. I just find it's faster just to get the ferrite dust straight up. Okay, let's go inside this shelter. And um, this is a... Uh, this basically gives us money. Uh, credits. The stock thing. Okay, so we can recharge our hazard suit when we're in shelter. We can also do it if we're in caves, just as long as we're not under the sky. Okay, let's go check this out. Uh, I'm surprised I found this place um this early on but it's just everything in this game is completely you know comp uh what's it called random generated and um so you know it, it's it's completely different each time you play it oh nice we got a life support gel that's actually going to come in handy too um okay so let's continue working our way towards our ship which is over here and we're going to loot these things, and that guy gave us some dihydrogen. I just, this game is so fun, man. I love this game. And again, it's just, it really lends itself well to just relaxing and not thinking too hard about stuff and just exploring and discovering and seeing all the, you know, all of the procedurally generated stuff that the game comes up with. And some of it's really bizarre, too. So we'll grab this dihydrogen here. Good. Okay, let's keep working our way towards our ship. Here's some sodium. We're going to get this. 
There's another building off that way, too. I don't usually see this many buildings um, this early on. Uh, which is a good thing. These red crystals are carbon. So I'll harvest that. Alright, so... <coughs> excuse me. For those of you who are new to the game, um, there's a little trick that you can... Oh, nice. we got a cave, too. We're going to go in there for a minute. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry. I'm on the tail end of getting over a bad cold. Uh, if you punch and then hit your jetpack, it'll launch you forward really fast. So that's a really good way in the early game uh, to move around. There's something weird about these oxygen plants. When you harvest them, sometimes it screws up the camera. I don't know why it does that. Okay, this is our spaceship. Let's hop in. We can also recharge our hazard shield while we're in the spaceship. And it's got some a little story stuff. So, big number, online. Atlas connection, intermittent. Launch thrusters are offline. Pulse engine is offline. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of a before. But this ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I'm not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Okay? Uh, it's got a log that we can read, but it's not going to make a lot of sense to us. 4925 Alpha, unavailable substituting data. The exosuit is connected to session, uh, book suggestion. Pilot should perform maintenance and select the desired path. Okay, we, so basically what we got to do is repair our ship. And we have to repair our pulse engine and our launch thrusters. Okay, so um, if we take a look at our pulse engine, it needs a, uh, a metal plating and it needs uh, a hermetic seal. So we can actually make the metal plating now because of all of the um, ferrite that we've been um, mining. Okay, so if we go to here, we can now put that metal plating there and we've repaired that. The launch thruster is also going to need um, a dihydrogen jelly. We've been picking up dihydrogen, so let's go ahead and make one of those. And we can get half of the launch thruster repaired now, too. Good. Okay, so we're halfway there. Now, let's hop out of here. Um, inside of here, let's look inside of here. We might get um, a module or something interesting. The music can get really loud in this game, even though I have it turned down to like 60%. Oh, look at that. We got an A-level Starship Shield module. That's actually really good uh, to get this early on. Fantastic. Okay. Basically just going to um, strengthen the shields on our ship, uh, which we will need. Okay, we'll just loot those, get a little more condensed carbon. Uh, again, we're not going to hit the green things for the iron. I just don't find, them, find it that useful th uh, this early on, if ever. <laughs> uh, okay, now, um, it's basically now telling us that uh, we need to go, well, actually, here, let's get back in the ship first and read the log. Okay, iteration, big, long number, functional, starship critically damaged, vital ingredients missing, unable to synthesize the hermetic seal. Do you want assistance? Yes, we do. What this is going to do is give us a planetary chart, which is going to show us where we can go to find a hermetic seal. We can't make a hermetic seal yet because we don't know the blueprint, but we'll reverse engineer it once we find it. Okay, so inside of this thing, we're going to find a star chart and some more weird story stuff. Scenario, iteration, big long number, deleted, boundary separation, failure likely. Vessel 16 emptied, cause sentinel intervention. Okay, sentinel in sentinels are the basically the enemies of the game, or one of the enemies in the game. And that's suggesting to us that they attacked us. A fresh iteration generated, anomaly containment prepared, broadcast. <coughs> a lot of this... A lot of this stuff is, is just kind of mumbo-jumbo, but you can kind of work out what's happening by reading between the lines, so to speak. Anomaly is compliant position log. Um, by the way, we are considered the anomaly at this point. Uh, that will, be, will become more apparent to us later on, I believe. A red light fills my vision. All I see is crimson, and then it fades. The color drains, and the words that had seemed so clear seem to slip away. I appear inside the beacon's housing, as well as its distress broadca broadcast unit. It contains a planetary chart. Very good. Let's take the planetary chart. All right, now uh, open up our inventory. We'll read the chart, and what that does is it throws us way up into the sky, and it shows us that off to the west we have the location, and that's relatively close by too, which is a good thing. Okay. Um, since that is as close as it is, um, we're going to go ahead and take off for it now. Now, what I would, what I will sometimes do, is I'll wait because the, the game is going to script in a storm here any moment, but I think we can get over there before the storm gets bad, or at least over there in time before it kills us. So let's just start working our way over there. 
uh, again because it's closer by. I'm not going to stop really to scan anything or do anything. I just need to get over there quick because I know that storm's coming. Like I said, it's a scripted event. Uh, yeah, hit it. when you hit stuff, uh, when you do the jetpack trick, then it completely screws you up. Up the hill, man. Up the hill. Okay. We do need to be careful, too, because um, there is fall damage in the game, so sometimes you can, like, blast out and then go over the edge of a cliff and then take some serious damage by falling. Okay, so we're not going to get all the way to the building on time, so we want to make sure we have enough sodium to recharge our hazard unit. In fact, let's do that now with the quick menu. Um, we'll worry about life support later. Okay, so we're fully recharged. We should be able to make it over there um, without dying, hopefully. Yeah, I didn't quite get that one off in time. Oh, yeah, well, that was a plant that just actually hurt us. It's a nasty Venus flytrap type of plant. We gotta get over there. Come on, man, get moving. Move, 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 move. You can see our radiation shield um, is falling rapidly. Okay, we're good. Whew. We made it in. So, yeah, if this place had been any further away than it was, I would have waited uh, at the ship uh, for the storm to blow by in the cockpit. But I knew we could get here in time. Okay, so let's look into this little thingy. Accessing archive. Six of seven logs are corrupted. Entry 4924 Alpha follows. No one, Gazit, making this recording in case Gazit, leaving behind Gazit in the fabricator. Gazit might be of some use. Okay, so that's basically static part of the message, of course. This is cut off. He's basically telling us um, that he has a damaged visor and he's left behind um, uh, supplies for us. And we're also going to get the blueprint. Uh, well, not the blueprint, but the tutorial is going to tell us about making the visor. But I already knew we could do that, so we did that in advance. Um, whoever has led me here, whoever left these messages, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. Perhaps so. We got our hermetic seal. Okay. So now what we need to do is just wait for this storm to blow by. While we're doing that, um, we are going to take this life support gel and uh, recharge our life support. And what I'm going to do is... Yeah, I'm going to make another jelly and then make another life support gel. <clears throat> because um, you know that way we'll have it a spare on hand when we need it and um, we are at 100 percent on hazard protection so we're good to go there and yeah that's that's cool that we found the starship shield module uh, so we'll we'll uh, put that on our starship when we get back and it will boost our shield in some way it'll tell us what it does once we apply it Okay, storm is chilling out. Let's wait a couple more minutes because it doesn't immediately go away. Uh, not a couple minutes, a couple more seconds, I should say. And then we should be good. Okay. Um, we might find something of value in this other shelter. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. Okay, cool. So this is a... Uh, I think we already talked about this. This just gives us money. Um, so it gives us extra space credits that we'll be using later on for various things. And there should be, yeah, there should be one of these things over here, which might give us another module or give us nanites, uh, both of which are good. Um, we'll keep this stuff for now. And we got nanites. Okay, we'll take them. We need nanites. Um, all right. We are in good shape uh, for the moment. There isn't anything else to do over here, so we're going to start working our way back towards our ship, but along the way... Um, we're going to start scanning things uh, because we will get extra um, money for doing that. And uh, like I said, we'll also, here we're going to pick up dihydrogen along the way and we'll pick up sodium along the way. And did we scan this? No, we didn't. Okay, let's scan this plant here. So because we scanned it, um, well, no, in this case it doesn't give us anything extra, but sometimes it will. And there's a nasty flower there, but we'll, we're not worried about him. Okay, so scan, 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 scan. We get a small amount of money for scanning minerals, a little bit more money for scanning plants, 
and a lot of money, uh, well, more money, I should say, for scanning fauna. But we want lots of carbon, lots of dihydrogen. I'm just going to grab all of this here because we're going to need it. We'll get some more um, ferrite too. We have a hot laser, which is good. We'll mine this very quickly. Okay, let that bump down just a little bit on the heat. Um, here, let's scan that. That salt and sodium. And we need a, a special key called an Atlas Pass to open that thing. We'll get we'll get that later. Okay, let's start heading back uh, to our our ship here. Yeah, this is where we got to be careful. We want to go just barreling off the side of that cliff, or we could get take some serious damage. All right, if this is a cave, we can shelter in here. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is recharge our hazard suit with some sodium. Um, you know what, though? We, uh, here, scan that. We don't have a lot of sodium, so we need to pick some more, and we need to get back to our ship. In fact, there's some sodium over there. Let's grab it right now. Is this a cave? Nope, just a hole in the ground. Okay. Let's grab this sodium here. Finish harvesting that. And let's keep working our way back. Must be out of stamina because it's not. There we go. Not letting me run here. There's some sodium here. Now we can also use this scanner to find uh, sodium and oxygen and other things as needed. Sometimes it's pretty obvious where it is, sometimes it's not. Let's scan these critters here. Um, the critters on the starting planet are not usually dangerous. Um, so we'll scan them, we'll get the extra money, that sort of thing. Okay. And we're going to need to do another charge on our hazard. Get some sodium. Alright, there's some sodium out there. But again, let's just get back to the ship. If we can find a cave, uh, wasn't there a cave actually near the ship? Then um, we can make the sodium capsule chargers, which are a lot better than um, just the normal sodium. Okay, if you pick this plant, it gives you a jetpack boost. Nice. Okay, that was timely, got us back to our ship right away. Okay, let's hop in the ship. We'll recharge our hazard protection. Um, while we're waiting, we're going to go to our pulse engine and we're going to apply that hermetic seal that we just got. Okay, cool. So the last thing we need to do is we need to repair our launch thruster. Um, we already applied the dihydrogen jelly, so now what we've got to do is we have to make a refiner. Um, so we're going to open up this menu and we are missing something. What are we missing for the refiner? Uh, oh, we need to make a metal plating. Okay, no problem. We can do that. Uh, we'll go into here. Make a metal plating. All right, now we can set the refiner down. And then we're going to open it up. In here, we're going to place some carbon for fuel. In here, we're going to place all of the ferrite dust that we have. And then start it up. It's going to make pure ferrite. And that's what we need to finish repairing our launch thruster. In the meantime, let's hop back in the cockpit here and recharge our hazard protection. So we're doing good so far. We want to get off this planet um, as soon as possible because it sucks. But the, the truth of the matter is, um, most uh, probably all of the planets in this solar system we're in are going to be nasty in some way. Um, so we don't worry too much about that. And honestly, I, I kind of prefer the radiated planets over like the you know the, the toxic planets. So those are gross. Uh, the heat planets suck, and the, you know well they all suck, but. Um, I don't know. I, I like these ones the most. No particular reason, I suppose. Okay. Uh, that gives us enough ferrite. We'll put that in the starship. Uh, we will pick this thing up and take it with us. We get all the materials back that was in it, uh, that were in it when we pick it up. 
if we go down to here and we can apply the uh, the carbon stuff to that and we are now ready to take off uh, another thing I want to do if I can before we leave is I want to make um, I want to make an extra launch fuel so we just need a little bit more uh, ferrite for that now we might end up coming back here if the storyline um, sends us back here um, or it might send us to a different planet, so we'll see. But we won't know that until we get up into space. All right, recharge this. Oh, I was going to see... Did I see a cave around here before we leave? Uh, yeah, I think that this might be a cave over here. If we find a cave, we can get... Um, hmm... I don't know if we want to go down there. We might not be able to get back out. Yeah, okay, never mind. We don't we don't have the terrain manipulator yet, so we could we could get stuck down there and die, so never mind. Okay, we're not gonna do that. So anyway, let's make another uh launch fuel. Uh need a little bit more uh, ferrite. Just gotta find the little ferrite things. Here, we might as well analyze this. Oh, that has chromatic metal in it. Hmm. You know what? Why don't we... Why don't we stick around here for a little bit longer and mine those up? Because we're gonna need 30 chromatic metal. And this will be just a faster way for us to, to get it. So we're getting it from these little um, octagonal things on the ground. Um, those things there. Yeah, okay, so here's what I'm going to do, you guys. I'm going to mine up enough of these till I have 30 chromatic metal. And that's going to come into play very soon, and you'll, you'll see later on. So when it's, once I have 30 of these, I'll probably grab a little more carbon, a little more dihydrogen, that sort of thing. And then I'll bring you guys back and we'll take off and do the next thing. All right, guys, we're back and I have mined up a total of uh, 53 chromatic metal, which is, uh, I think we only needed 30. Uh, so, excuse me, we have a little bit extra. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our starship and we're going to install this um, shield. And what that does for us now is it gives us 16% shield strength. Okay, well, that's uh, that's nice. A little, little extra boost for the ship there. Um, let's also make ourselves a uh, Starship launch fuel. So we need to make a metal plating. And we're going to make that. Um, in fact, let's make two of those. Uh, that way we have them available to us. We're not going to use them until we have to, though. Uh, okay, we are finished with this planet, at least for now. And so we're going to take off in our ship. And let's head right up into the stars. I'm going to switch to, whoops, uh, switch to this view, because we can see a little bit better in this view. We are in the Gobinki Jai uh, 15 system. We have five planets and one moon. What are the chances that one of those planets or the moon will actually not be nasty places? Probably pretty low, but let's scan. Looks like that's the moon right there. It's a frozen hell. Okay. Um, oh, no, that was the planet. Um, can we scan the moon? I think we're probably not close enough. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and pulse drive, which is our sub light speed, and get closer to this moon. Okay, now we can scan it. It is also. Wait, no. Hold on a second. Okay, let's cut the pulse engines and scan the moon here. It's a bubbling moon with copper, gold, and silver. Bubbling. <coughs> that would seem to suggest that it might be hot. I don't know what bubbling actually means. Um, okay, well, anyway, uh, let's see. Let's try this planet here. Planet, 
scanning it with C. That's a frost planet. Okay, so that's gonna be colder and I'll get out. Um, here's here's another one here. The ring planet is the one we just came from, I believe. That's a high energy planet, so that's gonna be radiation. That's New Kong where we just came from. What about this place? Miasmatic planet, fungal mold, copper ammonia silver. That's probably going to be a poison planet, is my guess. Okay, so I think we've scanned all the planets in the one moon. Um. Yeah, none of these places are 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 nice. Okay, so whilst we're in space, what we're going to do is we're going to hit a few of these asteroids and we'll get some resources tritium is the fuel for our pulse engine and then you know we'll also find like silver asteroids and gold asteroids and after a while we're gonna get an incoming message that's gonna send us down to one of these planets and we're gonna get some more um, blueprints for stuff that we need We'll just pick up a little bit of silver there. I'm not really too worried about mining all of it at the moment. Okay. Let's, um... Okay, what's on this planet again? Or the moon, rather? Copper, gold, and silver. Um, let's actually go to this moon for the moment. I just want to see if it's... If the environment itself is hazardous. Okay, there's our incoming message right there. Um, but but again, let's go down into the atmosphere of this moon. I just want to see if it's hazardous. Oh, that's why it's called a bubble, a bubble planet. Okay, let's check this message. Incoming transmission source forty nine twenty five Bravo. Please identify yourself. I am Kazit. Identify yourself. You are not Kazit alone. Follow the Kazit. The broadcast ends as strangely as begin. The final piece of a signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. Input the coordinate data. Any chance that can be on this non-hazardous moon? Nope, it's going to be back on that planet there. Okay, well, we gotta go there. So let's do it. Looks like it's taking us right back to where we came from. I think that's the Kong planet, isn't it? Yep, new Kong. We're going right back where we came from. All right, well, sometimes that happens. Let's do it. Oh, actually, hold on. I never actually confirmed if this moon is hostile or not. Uh, or the environment, I should say, is hostile. If it's not, we might actually come back here and set up our first base. Infinite Toxic Mist. Well, so much for that idea. This is a poison place. Um, oh, well, no. Actually, it's not engaging our hazard suit. So, okay. So, not so much. All right, good. Look at this ferric dust and dihydrogen. Um, now, we're going to have to start dealing with these stupid sentinels, and they get a little bit irritated with us when we when we mine stuff, if we're close by, but if we're far enough away from them, they don't notice. Okay, so this planet is is not hazardous, uh, environmentally speaking, even though it said something about toxic mist. Um, but our hazard suit seems to be able to take it without any issues. Is that something we can scan? Okay. Well, anyway, let's continue on here with the mission. I'd like to get the next two blueprints before we end our first episode here.
No, oh yeah, not enough fuel to launch the thruster. So let's go to the launch thruster and we will put a launch fuel in. And let's head back to our original planet. And we will get these two blueprints. Okay, so we basically just land here. <clears throat> we hop out, and then our scanner will sh tell us uh, what direction we need to start moving in. Okay, so we need to go that way. Let's do it. Um, unidentified. Let's scan this. Okay. It wants us to go this way. We didn't scan that plant either, huh? Okay. Might as well scan all this stuff over here. Okay. Good enough. Wants us to go this direction. Okay. So hopefully... Okay, that's where we need to go right there. So it's not too, too terribly far away. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this. It'll give us a save point and chart a little section of this planet and give us navigational data, which we can turn in for planetary charts up at the space station later on. Okay. Broken technology. The sparky wires of the machine generate a signal tapping out its broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is long gone to decipher the signal. Decoding, 16, 16, 16. Entry 4925 Charlie. No fuel in the Gazette. Failed to re reach the station. Hazard protection is low. No choice but to Gazette underground Gazette deployed base computer. So basically, uh, as well as the log entry, the signal contains ban uh, plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. With any luck, the base computer will hold more information about who is ever is leaving these messages. Let's extract the plans. Uh, okay, so that's why we needed the chromatic metal for that reason there. And we also now have learned the terrain manipulator. So for the terrain manipulator, we're going to go in here and we're going to make a couple of carbon nanotubes. And what else did we need for that? Multi-tool um, and a dihydrogen jelly. Okay. Whoops. Go back to here. Do a dihydrogen jelly. And then if we go to multi-tool, we can now construct the terrain manipulator. And now we can dig in the ground and go into caves and mine mineral deposits. Cool. All right. Let's check these thingies here, and then we got to work our way back to our ship here. All right. Okay, let's grab this, and that's going to give us a jetpack boost. Whoops, sorry. I hit the wrong thing. There we go. I'm actually going to stop, oh, hello, here and grab this. We got another surge thingy. Okay, we got to recharge our hazard suit with some sodium. We're good to go there. Uh, you know what, actually, we probably could have made it to the ship, but that's right. Sodium's easy to come by. All right, we're in our ship here, and we're recharging our thingy. And okay, so we have a, a choice now. We can either just set up our base here and and get on with the quest, or we could go back to that bubble planet. Um, the bubble planet is going to be harder to come by resources, even though it doesn't have a hazard protection. And in any case, you know we're not going to stay here for very long anyway. Um, but there's another there's kind of a plan C we could try. Uh, I won't spend a lot of time doing it uh, We could fly around for just a little bit and see if we could find either a spaceport 
um, or at least a galactic terminal to set up our base next to. So that way we have access to the galactic terminal uh, where we can buy and sell things. Uh, so I think what we'll do is um, we're going to... Here, let's hop back out of here for just a second because we have a broken thingy over here. And we have some more sodium we can grab too. We might get a module out of this or at least we'll get some nanites. Oh, and some living slime too. Yay us. Actually, that is worth something. Oh, nice. A super toxic protection module. That was worth the price of admission. Big time. Okay, so what we're going to do with that is we're going to install this. Anything that's S level is amazing. Um, it's 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 not going to help us here though because we're on an irradiated planet. But if we go to a toxic planet, um, it's basically going to give us an almost total record of the, the toxic damage shield. It doesn't exactly tell us what it does, but it probably just be. I'm sure it just makes our shield, uh, our hazard shield mega strong against toxic it doesn't give us a number as to exactly how much though but that's fine uh, we've already scanned that guy okay so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna take off and we're going to head in a direction let's just head north and I'm gonna start I'm gonna fly around for a little while I'm not gonna spend a lot of time doing this but we're looking for either a spaceport or a um, uh, it, it's like an outpost where you where you you can land on a pad and it's got the galactic terminal thingy um, so I'll, I'm gonna do this and just look around for a little bit I'm gonna let you guys go here and then in the, we'll start the next episode after I have either found a spaceport or a galactic terminal or I have decided, screw it, we're just going to land here and get our base set up so we can continue the storyline. Alright you guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye.